Well, people in Pueblo are feeling the heat. Quite literally, the Pueblo Fire Department is seeing a rise in the number of heat-related calls. Here on News Channel 13's Colleen Sikora is live at the Pueblo Riverwalk. And Colleen, the consistently high temperatures are causing many people to struggle with heat-related illnesses. You know, other than the sun beating down on my head, I can actually feel the heat rising from the concrete through my shoes. But feeling the heat and recognizing when you've exerted yourself too much during it can be hard to gauge. This time of year, they're equipped with the tools ready to treat heat illnesses. Anytime that we, we have high temperatures like this, we're always concerned that it will be heat related. But the calls don't initially come as heat related. It's medical problems, people feeling dizzy, nausea, um, all of these, not all the time, but some of them can be attributed to being out in the heat and not taking care of yourself. When they arrive, one of the essentials for treatment, oxygen. By, by allowing them to, to get the oxygen they need, the body can tend to regulate itself at that point. And in serious cases, IV fluids. They're at this level, they're, they're probably going to go to the hospital. In cases that are severe enough, patients will come through these doors to the hospital to get the proper treatment. We begin immediately a cooling process with wet towels, cold iced saline that uh, we administer intravenously. Um, so we're trying to drop their their temperature very rapidly. ER doctors are seeing more student athletes, so they're urging parents to be aware of these symptoms. If uh, your student athlete comes home and they're nauseated, they have a, a headache, um, they're dizzy, they may even have mental status changes or personality changes. And if they can't cool off, take them to the hospital. Now, while first responders are getting more calls for service, the St. Mary Corrin Emergency Department has not had a single case of heat stroke yet this summer. Live in Pueblo, Colleen Sikora, KRDO News Channel 13.